Ms. Kincannon. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, how did you like my mic? It was good. It was a, good. You, you, said, you said all the right things. No. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, Madam Chair, if, if, it's, if it's okay with you and the rest of the board, if there is a principal here who wanted to share uh, here present, okay. and I always think it's helpful to hear from people who are going to be implementing this stuff. Okay. If, if there are principals here, if you want to come forward and state your name and go ahead and talk to us about the regional plan. I'm Catherine Banner, principal of West High School, and um, I'm happy to talk about the regional support plan. Um, I liken it to what we've done at West High School, which is we've taken West High School from a large, comprehensive, traditional model high school, and we've taken it to small learning communities, each one led by a highly effective team of an assistant principal, a teacher, dean, and a counselor working with a smaller number of teachers. And that structure is kind of how I see a uh, regional support team working in a school system. As principals, we need the support. Being a principal is a 24-7 job. You're constantly thinking about continuous improvement and what you're doing in your school. And having that support and having those people who you can bounce ideas off of and talk through plans uh, is exceedingly important to us as principals. I know that my fellow high school principals um, unanimously are in support of a regional support structure. I think taking a smaller group of schools and having dedicated folks that are going to provide that support will maximize the efficiency of supporting uh, schools. So um, from my perspective, I wholeheartedly support a regional structure. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Cindy White, and I am principal at Vine Middle. And I'm going to go in a little bit of a different direction. Um, Catherine did refer that at to refer to that at the end. I'm not sure that I would have survived this year if it hadn't been for that regional structure, and with that innovation office this year, with John being the director of that, it was an opportunity to have for him to be in charge of a small group of schools. So really, principals were receiving individualized attention. And I think ultimately, when I feel supported, I'm better able to support my teachers, and my teachers are better able to support their students. And that's one thing in those reflections at the end of the year. Our staff said they felt so supported by the administration. And I was able to do that because of the support that I received. And I want to be, I'm just going to tell you how it was relevant for me. And two things stand out. Because we're all so busy. Everyone from top to bottom, we're just so busy. And this was an opportunity for me to have someone give me that attention, even if it was only monthly. And I had access to that person, John Ryswick, director of that innovation office. But one of the things was those weekly focus meetings with John, where we looked at, he would send me some questions in advance that he wanted me to reflect on. And he met with me monthly to talk about those questions. Things like, you know, talking about your AMO targets, your strategies for closing achievement gaps, talk about the action plan that you were implementing, you know, talk about your academic focus and how we're aligning our resources to um, reach our goals, how we're supporting and challenging all of our students, um, how are we managing our interventions, um, how are we monitoring student progress. And I know all of that seems like that was more of a punitive meeting, but it wasn't because what normally was supposed to be maybe a one-hour meeting ended up being a two-hour, a two-and-a-half-hour meeting. And oftentimes with that, with that director just listening to me, you know, John was in a situation where he 
had been principal of a low-performing, reconstituted school, and so he had a lot to offer. But that just provided a layer of support that was just really critical for me. And that second, that's the second thing that stands out for me was our quarterly focus group meetings. And I just have to say I was very nervous about that first one because I'm telling you, a huge number of district office staff came to that meeting along with John. And again, I was um, given an agenda. But those meetings also turned in to two and a half, three hour meetings, but in a very good way. You had everyone that you really needed to talk to right there at that table. So I didn't have to go about making all these individual phone calls. Um, we were invited to, and it really was this way, honestly, be honest in those meetings, support that honesty with data and observations. Um, I was able to bring all of my questions and all of my concerns, and I had people there who could address that immediately. I mean, there were many times that phone calls were made during those meetings to help address certain issues. I mean, I was in a situation where as a you know, new principal in a reconstituted school, I was TAP, which I had no experience with TAP. I knew the team rubric, but that was new for me. We were becoming, we were branding ourselves as a STEAM school. We were the first middle school community school that was a lot, um, and we had a whole new staff. So I really needed that support because I really had to support, I had to provide that support to my teachers. They really needed it also. So during those meetings, I was allowed to share the good along with the struggles, but I got advice and I got answers during those meetings. And what I have to say is more than any other level of support I've ever had, it was a very intense level of support. The teachers would keep going by the room and saying, how long were you in there? But it was just the, an intense amount of support that I needed. Um, the notes were always sent to me after the meeting, and I have to say the question that was always asked at the end of those meetings were, how can we best support you? So if that's what um, if that's what this restructuring looks like, I mean, I am 100% in support of that, of having that autonomy and having someone who works very closely with that small group of schools. So thank you. Hi, Beth Lackey. I'm the principal at Green Magnet Academy. Um, one of the areas of the strategic plan addresses the need for a regional support structure for our schools. And I'd like to take a moment to just address the ways that that support structure will help our schools achieve our goals of excellence for every child. First of all, one of the goals is to focus on our people. And a regional support structure will provide our schools with an organizational system that is specifically designed to meet the personal needs of the school whether it's a specific professional development need, a struggle to close an achievement gap, this regional support structure will be able to serve as the mechanism for providing support to a school. By having a team of individuals specifically focused on the needs of a school, school leaders will have the opportunity to work closely with central office support personnel to address concerns and needs quickly and appropriately. As the principal in a high needs school, I've had the opportunity to work within this structure for the past year. Four times during the school year, I had the opportunity to meet with a team of support people to specifically discuss the needs at Green Magnet. And they were great needs. During this time, we discussed professional development, academic concerns, student behavior, gap closure, and overall student achievement. As a result, I was able to focus on the needs of my students and my staff and have productive conversations with a variety of central office support personnel. In addition, when I had a concern or a need, I was able to have a specific point of contact in a variety of areas 
whether it was special ed or human resources or any of the other needs that we had. We were also able to plan for professional development and talk about specific supports for teachers that would help us meet the needs of, the stu of our students and our families. As a result of the hard work of this group, we were able to plan for an extended day for this school year. Our teachers have an extended contract. Our students will have an additional 45 minutes a day of learning opportunity. As I've met with parents in open house and as they've come in and I've told them what we were able to do, they've hugged my neck, they've cried, and they've thanked me for making sure that their students were going to have the additional help that they needed. This wouldn't have happened without the support and guidance of this group. It was a fabulous growth opportunity for me to be able to sit with one's colleagues and openly discuss the needs of the school and then see those needs met through a variety of supports is both comforting and encouraging. Each school should have the opportunity to engage in focused and personalized support in order to meet their needs and goals. In terms of building support for our community of leaders to design this would this structure would allow for us to problem solve and help meet the needs of our teachers. This enabled me to support my staff. For example, we were able to discuss how to focus our professional learning communities to meet, to meet the needs of our students through focused, specific instructional strategies our teachers could use. As the strategic plan states, we are all one big team. And by forming regional support structures, we will be able to focus on the individual needs of our schools as a means of reaching the overall system goals and working towards success, not only for every child, but for every teacher, every family, and every school. So I thank you for your support. Ms. Kincannon, you still have the floor. Oh, I'm sorry, Ms. Ash. I'm sorry. I, I wasn't going to say anything. Just two quick comments, though. First, in supporting the strategic plan, as individual, I'm sorry, Becky Ash, Principal of the STEM Academy. Um, as uh, a large school system, we have a vision and we have a mission. But those vision statements and mission without actionable items is a dream. The strategic plan. I see as an action plan that will help us move to accomplish our vision and mission, just like every individual school has a vision and then action steps to get there. I would support the regional support structure because being a school that is as unique and innovative as the LNN is, it is much easier for us to receive the support we need by somebody who is only uh, watching out and working closely with a small number of schools and understands they need to be a little flexible to meet the needs of this small group and we can be more individualized than somebody who is supervising all of the high schools at once, which just management principles alone, you need them to look alike so you can manage them effectively. So the smaller structure works to support uniqueness and for that reason I'm for it. I would remind the board and the audience, however, that voting yes to support the strategic plan and including this item in it is not carte blanche, that yes, you get to do whatever you want. I, for one, look forward to coming back and hearing the discussion about what the regional plan will actually look like. And it can't, the discussion can't happen if you don't approve it tonight. So thank you. Ms. Kincaid. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Ash, Ms. Lackey, Ms. White, and Ms. Banner, and thank you, board members, for letting them speak. I, I always find it uh, refreshing and helpful to hear from principals. And I, I thought one of the things Ms. White said was the most salient to me was when a principal feels supported, then she's better able to support her staff. And uh, the feedback I hear from the students and teachers I know at Vine, things are you know, the leadership there is, is working and the school is, and the students and teachers feel very supported. So if we can bring that level of uh, support and focus to principals across the district uh, through this regional support structure, I think that's a huge win. Because what I hear, when I hear that testimony from the principals who are benefiting from it now, I want that at Whittle Springs, I want that at Gresham, I want, I'm sure we all want it at all the schools. And uh, there's just a lot of, Research that shows that uh, 
just like effective teachers are paramount, uh, e also equally important is a, a really effective instructional leader and principal. And we have a lot of people who are doing that, but but we need to support them in that. And, and if this structure can do that, which it sounds like it has the potential, then um, then I think it's a really positive thing. Thank you. Thank you. Ms. Severance. 